welcome to my video in this video we're going to start off with me showing you some of my amazon finds y'all i told y'all in the last video that i actually am i don't know if i told y'all i'm an amazon associate i now have the capability of linking items in my description y'all um i became a youtube partner I don't know how long ago it was, y'all. I think it was almost two months ago. I don't know. I don't even remember. I haven't utilized any of the perks. I did start like a membership tiers, and I do have the capability of, um, I think, super, stat, super chat and stickers and stuff, but I haven't utilized anything. Like, I haven't even been trying to do anything. But, like y'all know, um, I said in my video, I be spending some money, y'all. I do be spending money. Um, I like little things that make my life easier and so I'm gonna show y'all some of the items that make my life easier make my life look a little more um it's not cuter just make it just make my life look just I, I just like little things so y'all I'm gonna link have everything linked in my description box in the description box for this video but let me show y'all one of the little things that I thought was so cute when I saw it and I bought it because y'all I have all my TVs are basically Roku TVs, um, and these are Roku remotes, and these may work with other remotes, I'm not sure. You can look in the description, you can click the link and find out, but these, y'all, I found these Roku remote covers. I thought they were so cute, they glow in the dark, and y'all know I have, you know, I got kids, and I just thought these were so cute, the covers for the remotes. Everything still works, um... You still can utilize the buttons on the side. But as y'all can see, I just went crazy ordering these things because I thought they were so cute. So these are the ones. I have a blue one as well. I can't find the blue one, but we each got a different color so we'll know which remote belongs to us. Um, y'all know I'm in a four bedroom and at one time I had five TVs because I had one in the den. But um, yeah, so we each have our so we'll know which one belongs to us now my son he goes through and he switches them out sometimes and he steal other people remote and stuff but we never have to worry about whose remote is whose because we all have our distinct color yeah and like i said i do have a blue one as well but i thought these were cute i'll link them in the amazon store below you see the top of them are revealed you can just have them on your wrist so like if you get up to run you know sometimes you could get up and come back and and the remote is gone so you could have this that you can carry it with you but i just thought these were so cute y'all these roku remote covers and they glow in the dark but these will be linked down below next this is something that i've had for a while so i made a video before talking about how i love all these candles because they smell so good they smell good and they're inexpensive at one point they were like 2.99 they've gone since pre pan post pandemic they've gone up to like four dollars and stuff but y'all i used to have the lighter i used to take lighters and i used to light them because you know that's what i had i you know that's what i was using and when it would get a little low and i'd be having a lighter like this it would be burning my fingers so i was just enduring enduring the pain also that all these candles are three wicks y'all y'all can go to all these these candles smell good my favorite scents are the vanilla and there's oh i can't remember that other flavor they come out, some of them have seasonal flavors, and one of the seasonal flavors, it was not a pumpkin spot. I can't remember, y'all. But, so, this is what I bought. I purchased these from Amazon. We have two of these in the household because everybody has candles in their rooms. And as you can see, it's rechargeable. You plug in to recharge it. Where is, where does it go? Yeah. You plug it in to charge it. And see those blue lights? Okay, y'all see those blue lights lighting up, and you see the little, so I'm going to light this candle, and you can move the neck, Can y'all see that? Y'all see that fire? And not a fingertip was burnt in the process, y'all. So I love these, y'all. These are these are so cute, so dainty. And they come in different colors. I will link these down below in my Amazon store as well. 
I bought these back in like 2021 and they're still lasting so that tells y'all how the longevity is um, I don't know what color my son has in his room because he definitely need some good smells in that room but yeah y'all so these are my can these are the candle lighters got this off Amazon I will be linking this down below also y'all know I'm about to go out of the country just to be on the safe side just to be on the safe side y'all so i purchased this little carbon monoxide tester because i know y'all heard the story of um the the u.s citizen who went to another country and they passed away because of um the carbon monoxide in their whole in their hotel or their villa or whatever it was they were staying in they didn't um you know carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide is that hidden gas that we inhale and it basically just it, it, it it kills us but and you can use this in your home as well so yeah I would try to insert a little clip of me plugging it up so y'all can see it light up and I'll hit the self test so y'all can hear the alarm but I just wanted to show y'all this carbon monoxide tester I brought it to take with me on vacation and I just wanted to show this to you all but these Amazon finds I'm gonna link them for all you who just like you know cute little gadgets or whatever so anyway y'all on to the vlog hey y'all how y'all doing uh it's still thursday october the 5th and i'm out running a couple errands y'all so um y'all know i'm mixing in the weight loss vlogs and everyday life i weigh in was 279 didn't gain a lot back still didn't hit 280 again like i was flip flop back and forth I, um y'all did see i had that fried chicken yesterday that chicken um i didn't need i had 20 pieces i only i might have ate eight pieces and then i stopped and got that taco bell those two wraps and the cur um the cinnamon twist and the diet coke and i ate one of the wraps i didn't even eat the other wrap so what caused me to gain it must have been what did i have the day before i don't even know y'all not upset because i'm almost in the mindset okay we starting over now we starting this 30 days it's a restart I lost 12 in the first 30 days. So far, the first day of my second set of 30 days, I've gained one. Um, I'm just going to say one pound. I gained like 10 ounces, but I gained one pound. So we're resetting, y'all. We're starting over. And as I said, I'm going to try to start this with counting calories. Um, so far today, it is, I think it's like 1 o'clock. I've had 160 calories because I ate a Twix ice cream bar. Not the best thing to eat, y'all. <laughs> but I was making something to eat, and I just realized, you know, I had to boil some eggs, and I was hungry. I needed something quick, and I didn't have an apple or orange or anything to grab. So I just grabbed that Twix ice cream bar. I know that's not going to hold me long. I know those are basically empty calories. I'm trying to actually stay, um, not even do 1,200. I'm going to actually try to hit, a like, no more than 1,000. So, um, I was making me another spinach salad, y'all. I had some spinach and some cheese, and um, I was boiling some eggs, and then I was like, I gotta go. So, after I boiled the eggs, I went upstairs and got dressed and turned the eggs off, and now I'm on my way. So, what I have to do today, y'all, is I am looking for another lunchbox. I needed a bigger lunchbox anyway, because I be trying to fit even my bowls and stuff in the lunch boxes and it don't be fitting it don't leave room for much else um and i and then that lunch box was dirty on the outside i didn't like looking at it it looked like it had been through some things and, and it hadn't because i i barely ever used to use it also i have to buy a lock y'all so some of y'all know my son my youngest son he's autistic y'all and you know autistic autistic kids they have little quirks about themselves um and my son has a destructive side and his destructive side destroys everything in the house y'all when i tell <laughs> i'm it's, it's been going on for so long y'all that it's like i'm almost immune to it but it still affects me especially in my pockets because i be repurchasing the same things over and over and over again y'all sometimes like he i got home yesterday and he had cut the cord on my 50 inch tv um it's not affecting me like I guess it would affect, you know, other people. I get one reason because y'all know I can make that bad. Like I don't spend a lot of money on things electronic wise because of him for one reason because it's not gonna last because he he's he's so destructive. 
I got that TV for like 170 something dollars using my daughter's Walmart discount at the time when she worked there. Um, so I'm trying to find another one to replace it, but uh, he's, it's so many things he's destroyed in the house, y'all. So many things. I'm going to buy a lock. Everybody else has a lock on their door, and I was going to install the lock on my door, um, but I couldn't get it on. But I, I master lock. But I'm just going to get a lock, a key lock, a key knob, a knob, excuse me, with a key to it because I'm going to have my door locked when I'm not home, but I need to have a set of keys to leave at home with my older son just in case, you know, there is something that they need to go in there for. I'm just going to put a lock on my, I'm just going to put a regular knob lock like how you do for a house oh, to open the front, open and close the back, front and back doors. I'm just going to put one of those on my room. I need to buy a tape measure as well to make sure that the suitcase is not, um, my suitcase is not bigger than the allotted size for this trip y'all we just got finished paying for baggage we did um we didn't do carry on we just did a check bag and we also got finished paying for our seats because you get to pick your seats we didn't have to pay for a seat we could have just gotten a seat whatever seat they give us but we kind of want to not so much as sit together but we kind of want to be in the same space and like I said, last time I was on that on that plane, the seat was so small, my thigh was like hanging over. And so I wanted to be able to pick the seat um, where I wanted to be sitting. So that was an extra $194. But mind you, the cost of the trip wasn't that much. So I'm not complaining too much, but it's just that they didn't, she didn't know none of the stuff was explained to us when we purchased the trip. They didn't tell us anything about, you know, baggage costs. And I feel like that stuff need to be disclosed when you purchase the trip because that took the cost up an extra $200. Um, yeah, so, but it is what it is. I'm just hoping I have fun. I'm hoping I have a good time. And also, y'all, I'm thinking about going out to eat. I'm thinking about stopping by Red Lobster. It's been a while since I've been to Red Lobster. You know, so one of the home improvement things I want to do in my house is I want to replace all the light flick fixtures with ceiling fans. So I'm in here not going to purchase them today because I'm the type of person when I buy stuff I want to be able to buy it all at one time so I'm going to be replacing like four light fixtures so I want to be able to buy all four ceiling fans at one time so now I'm just looking at ceiling fans so I like that one and it's 87 that's a basic one that's 59 that will probably go in my den that's cute too. That one right there would I would probably put in my kitchen, but I need two for my kitchen, and I don't want to. That'll be two hundred dollars just for two. There's some of the higher price ones. That one is two forty nine. That's another $59 one. That one is $59. That's nice. I can see me getting that. Uh, $84. I like this one too. That's $94. I think I'm a... That one's 79 and that's cute. Anyway, I'm going to be getting about five, four or five ceiling fans. All right, y'all. I think these are the ones I'm going to go with. It has two keys. It's only $14. So this is just what I need. Not too expensive. All right. I found one for $10, y'all. Even better deal. Come with two keys. All right, y'all. So I got my tape measure. I got the doorknob. I went with this brass finish. Brass finish. It was only ten dollars and forty something cent. And then I bought the tape measure to measure the height of the suitcase. All right, so we in Ross, and let me show y'all. Like 
the size of my suitcase that I have now. So this is uh, this is basically the suitcase that I have right here. Y'all see how tall this is? Oh, that's just cute. Eight pounds. Oh, I show the pounds. Oh, this is like the suitcase I got at home. I know better for seventy dollars. That looks like the one I got at home. I got for nineteen. Wow. E one of these could work. Four inches. Ah, oh, that might work. Let me see how. All right, y'all. Let me show y'all what I bought. So I found this lunch box. It's cute. It has a side here, a side here. And then it has this middle part that zips and it keeps things cold and it also has an ice pack in it. Y'all, I think this will be big enough to fit everything I want to fit. Because y'all, I be trying to stuff everything and it's black so that makes it even better. And it's $9.99. I also bought these. I was looking for some little uh, Tupperware, which I buy these all the time, and I can never keep up with them. But I really wanted it for the smaller ones to keep, like, my salad dressing, cheese, bread, you know, little things. Because I always have, like, cheese sticks and my salad dressing. I'll be trying to wrap mayonnaise and um, little Luna foil and stuff. So this will come in handy for that probably could have got them even smaller but the two smaller ones can work for like my salad dressing and my condiments bought my son some more boxers because the last two packs i bought him didn't fit the first pack was too small the last pack was too big so i gave the small ones to my little nephew and i gave the bigger ones to my older sons so hopefully these fit a three pack for $7.99, which is a good price because y'all know boxers and t shirts are real expensive now. And I also bought this belt for my guy. He um, said he needed a belt. Y'all know, God, y'all know men, child. They'll probably tie a string around their damn waist before they go and actually buy a belt. And it's reversible. So he, I found him two belts in one. So that was it for Ross. Y'all, I'm thinking should I go get me something to eat now? Y'all know I'm counting calories. Y'all know seafood don't have that many calories. I'm thinking about going to get me some red lobster, but I feel like I'm cheating on my son. By going yeah, I feel like I'm cheating on him if I don't take him. It's 2 o'clock. He won't be out for another two hours. I'm hungry now, and my mind is saying red lobster, but by the time... I mean, he like red lobster, too. He don't get nothing. He don't like seafood, but he just get the burger and the fries. And the only thing, I mean, you know, I'm not really a seafood, seafood person no other than tuna. But, um, I don't know if it was the sangria, actually. It was the drink that I was thinking about. But I don't need to get a drink because their drink is 150 calories. And I ate that Twix, that Twix candy bar, which was 160 calories. So that means I would have to drink water. Wherever I go, you know, the key to losing weight with calorie counting. And I'm not the key to losing weight, but don't drink your calories. So anywhere I go to get something to drink, I will do under either unsweet tea or um, water or Diet Coke. But I'm trying to drink some more water. Or should I just go home and eat my spinach salad that I had prepared? Um, those eggs should be, I know those eggs are boiled by now. But it's something about the ambiance of sitting down to eat, y'all. It's so relaxing. But I be trying to find meals for like 500 calories or less. Let me just go home. Let me go home.
go eat my salad spinach and take me a nap i ain't took a nap in a while y'all here i go this is y'all already seen this before it's in that bowl i had my chicken in though yesterday but this is some spinach some tuna there's two cans of tuna so it's 100 calories 200 calories some cheese three eggs so they're 70 calories a piece so that's 210 um, so that's what 410 the cheese might be about a hundred calories I did sprinkle a good bit on there and the spinach probably about a hundred calories y'all is 25 calories per what cup something like that so anyway yeah this is about a 500 calorie bowl right here I already got some chicken out thawing out I'm gonna do some chicken thighs probably or some spinach again y'all <laughs> i love tuna though y'all know y'all already know i know y'all tired of seeing this i decided against the red lobster i'm trying to y'all i got my swimsuits in from sheen and the whole goal was to look good in my clothes so i'm i'm trying to get it down to uh, i got less than 10 days so i'm trying to get it down another five pounds y'all hopefully hopefully um this will probably be it for tonight i might show y'all that chicken but if not this will be it um yeah i should be well under a thousand calories all right y'all i just stopped in to get something to eat i'm about to head to work it is like 6 20 i got about 30 minutes to eat i'm right around the corner from the job but i'm gonna just show y'all i'm working a night shift this will probably be my only meal for the day calorie count kind of went out the window for today but I know I lost some weight. I can feel it. This is some tortillas, but I won't be eating these. I never do. All right, y'all. I'm claiming 277. Let's see what it's giving. It's Saturday. It is 1.30 in the afternoon, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I got off work, took a nap, did all that. Weighing in late, but I'm weighing in. Uh, really like to take it early in the morning, but it is what it is. We did it, y'all. We broke that 278. Oh. Let me get back on there, y'all. I'm so excited. Can we get, can we lose three more pounds by, can we lose three pounds by Tuesday, y'all? It's Saturday. Can I lose three more pounds by Tuesday, y'all? If I hit 275, I will officially be at 15 pounds now. I'm going to see what we can do, y'all. I, I would love to lose, oh God, seven pounds is asking for too much. Um, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. By Wednesday, if I could lose seven more pounds, y'all, that would put me at 20 pounds down. That was my goal to be, will it? Yeah, if I could lose seven pounds, that will put me at my at least 20 pounds I wanted to lose before I go on this trip. Today, I'm making baked macaroni for my son, but I'm making it with cauliflower for me and I put some chicken section little chicken wingets in the air fryer and um yeah that's gonna be me for today y'all see y'all Monday